Can Deion Sanders at Colorado really change the Pac-12 media rights value? Now, George Klyovkov mentioned this uh, along with several other things, but he he said that the Pac-12 media rights had been kind of on hold. The reason that the deal was not done was, one, he knew something was coming down the pipeline for Colorado, and he said that absolutely having Deion Sanders as your coach adds value to the league. Okay, but do we really think that one coach adds adds value like that to where you're not doing a TV contract yet? I, I don't buy that. And neither does Bob Thompson, who's the former uh, Fox Sports executive, uh, for, excuse me, Fox Sports president. Uh, he, he came out and just said, no, there is no coach that is going to add value to a media rights deal. Just because Colorado was 1-11 last year does not mean uh, that all of a sudden they hire in one coach, and you don't even know what this coach is going to be yet. You don't know how successful he actually is. Yes, he does add enthusiasm to the conference, but it, my my guess and my belief is no. That had nothing to do with it. Uh, the other thing Klyovkov said is, uh, we also couldn't get that TV deal done yet because the UC Regents meeting has not happened to where they may force UCLA to stay in the Pac-12. I don't buy that either. I believe everybody knows that UCLA is gone. I, if they if they do try and keep UCLA in this, there are going to be lawyers. I will tell you that there are going. It is going to be ridiculous because they've already shown you that they want to leave. Why would you try and make them stay? That is absurd. Uh, the third point that he made, and this was comical to me, he said that TV executives don't do deals between Thanksgiving and New Year's. He said that they basically don't work between Thanksgiving and New Year's. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of industries where that is the case. You're not going to see a ton of booking, etc. being done for uh, for entertainment, right? Acts, uh, stuff like that. You're not going to see a ton of that done between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Uh, whether it's CAA, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. A lot of them are focused on sports. A lot of them are focused on other things. But you're not going to see a bunch of tour dates being booked uh, between Thanksgiving and New Year's. It's just, it's just not going to happen. But when it comes to television, there's still stuff to put on TV. This is a time, it's, there's a reason why ESPN is in the bowl business in this time of year. It's because there's a lot of people at home watching. Like, it's it's the truth. So to say that a TV deal is not done because of all of these different reasons, maybe it's a combination of all of them, but maybe it's none of them. Maybe the Pac-12 deal just is not done yet, and the Big 12 just beat you to it. Like, that, it, it sounds like this constant back and forth, right? Brett Yormark and George Klyovkov doing this whole, in, in the public eye, which Klyovkov hasn't done for the most part, uh, but it seems like they're going back and forth about who, the Big 12 already got the deal done. But now Klyovkov wants to make it sound like, well, there's a reason why we didn't want to be first to the market. Well, we're bringing in Deion Sanders. And that's going to be worth what exactly, right? Like this guy is a brand and he is going to bring a lot of value to that school. And you just better hope that it's not bringing value to the Big 12 here in a couple of years. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.